The Titans were a race of powerful deities in Greek mythology. They were considered to be elder gods and held sway over the world before being overthrown by the Olympian gods, led by Zeus. After being defeated by the new gods in the Titanomachy or Titan War, the Titans were punished by being imprisoned in Tartarus, the deepest part of the underworld, with the exception of Atlas. Thus, they were seen as models of power and cautionary tales about the consequences of rebellion against the Olympians. Anitos is not mentioned in classical Greek literature as a titan and it's possible that his name is a misspelling or a reference to a different figure. However, when understood as a unique figure, he is said to have raised Despoina, the daughter of Demeter and Poseidon. Asteria was the titan goddess of the stars and was believed to have the ability to control their movements. She also represented the beauty and the mystery of the night sky. Asteria was the wife of the titan Perseus and together they had one daughter, Hecate, who became a powerful goddess of magic and witchcraft. Astres was the titan god of dusk, stars, planets and the art of astrology and he also represented the power of the winds. Astros was married to the titaness Eos, with whom he had several children, including the four Anemoi, the winds, and the five Astronomoi, the constellations, and the morning star, Eos Foros. Atlas was the titan god of strength and endurance, and was one of the leaders of the titans in the war against the Olympian gods. After being defeated, he was punished by holding up the sky on his shoulders to prevent it from crushing the earth. Queos was the titan god of intellect and the axis of heaven around which constellations revolved. After he and his siblings were defeated by the Olympian gods and imprisoned in Tartarus, he went mad, broke his bonds and attempted to escape, but was stopped by Cerberus. Creos was the titan god of the celestial poles and was responsible for the stability of the sky and the heavens. He fathered the titans Astrus, Pallas and Perseus. Cronus was the titan god of harvests and the personification of destructive time. He was known for his power and cunning and for that reason was the leader of the titans. Among other beings, he fathered Hestia, Hades, Demeter, Poseidon, Hera and Zeus. Dion was the titan goddess of nature and fertility and was associated with the earth and the natural world. The ancient Greeks invoked her for protection and blessings for their families and communities. In some accounts, she was said to be the mother of Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. Eos was the titan goddess and the personification of the dawn and was worshipped as the bringer of light and hope. She was depicted as a stunningly beautiful woman, often shown with rosy cheeks and golden wings, who was believed to open the gates of the sky each morning, allowing the sun to rise and bring light and warmth to the world. Epimetheus was the titan god of afterthoughts and the father of excuses. When the gods created the first humans, Epimetheus was tasked with giving them their physical attributes. However, in his haste, he gave humans weaknesses and vulnerabilities, such as a short lifespan and susceptibility to disease. Helios was the titan god and the personification of the sun and was worshipped as the bringer of light, warmth and life. He was depicted as a handsome, youthful figure, often shown riding in a chariot drawn by four horses, which he drove across the sky each day. Hyperion was the titan god of watchfulness and observation, and was also the personification of heavenly light. With his sister, the titaness Thea, he fathered Helios, the sun, Selene, the moon, and Eos, the dawn. Iapetus was the titan god of craftsmanship and mortality and was known for his cunning and trickery. He was married to his sister, Clemene, and they had several children, including Atlas, Prometheus and Epimetheus. Some sources also say he was the father of the human race. The Lantos was the titan god and the personification of the air and was believed to have the power to control the winds and the atmosphere. He was depicted as a handsome, youthful figure, often shown with wings, a bow and arrows, which he used to shoot down birds and other creatures of the sky. Leto was the titan goddess of motherhood and was invoked by women seeking fertility and safe childbirth. She was best known as the mother of the twin gods Apollo and Artemis, who would go on to become the two of the most revered and powerful gods in the Greek pantheon. Menoetius was the titan god of violent anger and rash actions. He was known for his bravery and skill with weapons, but was also said to be prone to fits of rage, which ultimately led to his downfall. Miti was the titan goddess of good counsel, advice, planning, cunning, craftiness, and wisdom. 
she was the first wife of Zeus, but was swallowed whole by him when it was prophesied that her child would overthrow him. However, she continued to live in Zeus's head, helping him make wise decisions. Nemozin was a titan goddess of memory, and being a powerful and wise deity, she was often invoked by poets and artists seeking inspiration. After the Titan War, her legacy lived on through her children, the Muses, who continued to be honored and revered in classical Greek culture. Oceanus was the titan god of fresh and salty water, but was mainly known to be the ruler of the oceans, mostly representing its vast and mysterious depths. He was married to his sister, Thetis, and they had many children, including the river gods and the Oceanids. Pallas was the titan god of Warcraft and an important symbol of strength, wisdom and bravery. With his wife Styx, he was the father of Zealous, Zeal, Nike, Victory, Kratos, Strength and Bia, Might. He was killed by Zeus during the Titan War. Perseus was the titan god of destruction and was known for his association with the forces of chaos and the dangers of unchecked power and violence. He was often depicted as a fierce and warlike figure and must not be confused with another Perseus, the son of the titan Helios and the Oceanid Percy. Phoebe was the titan goddess of intellectual wisdom, representing the power of prophecy and foresight. She was married to her brother, Coeus, and they had a daughter, Leto, who went on to become the mother of the Olympian gods Apollo and Artemis. Prometheus was the titan god of fire, forethought, and crafty counsel, and was also the creator of humankind. He was best known for his gift of fire to humankind, which he stole from the gods, thereby helping to elevate them above the animals. For this act, he was punished by Zeus. Rhea was the titan goddess of motherhood and was associated with the earth and its fertility. She was the wife of Cronos and the mother of Hestia, Hades, Demeter, Poseidon, Hera and Zeus. Thanks to her, Zeus was saved from being devoured by Cronos like his siblings were. Selene was the titan goddess and the personification of the moon, whose light was seen as a symbol of life, fertility and growth, and whose influence was believed to extend to all aspects of nature. She was often depicted as a radiant figure, riding a chariot across the night sky. Styx was the titan goddess and the personification of the river that separated the world of the living from the underworld, and was the symbol of death, the afterlife, and the power of the gods. She was one of the most powerful of the goddesses, for she had the ability to make or break oaths. Cyseus was a fairly unknown titan god, with the only mention of him being a passage where he was pursued by Zeus and ran to ask the help of Gaia, his mother. She in turn transformed him into a big tree so he could escape his pursuer. Tethys was the titan goddess of fresh water and the mother of the river, springs, streams, fountains and clouds gods. She was the wife of the titan Oceanus and together they had many children, including the river gods and the Oceanids. Thea was the titan goddess of sight and the shining light of the sky. She was also considered to represent the beauty and the power of the sun. She was married to the titan Hyperion, and together they had several children, including Helios, the sun, Selene, the moon, and Eos, the dawn. Themis was the titan goddess of divine justice and was associated with the natural order of the universe, as well as the upholding of law and morality. She was the mother of the Horai, the Seasons, and the Morai, the Fates, and she was also associated with oracles and prophecies. Titan was the titan god of the calendar of the seasons, but mostly referring to each day, a fact that made him be heavily associated with the titan Helios, and sometimes to be considered the same as him.